Hello everyone and welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're going to look into Sagittarius's Inside Their Mind reading for July 2021. In this message, we are first going to tap into the energies with the Romance Angel deck here. Get an overview of, of what's challenging this. Then we are going to dive a little bit deeper with another deck. And in this message, we are going to look into what your person's perception of the challenge is with you. What they are not telling you at this time. What their true intentions are moving forward and any advice, guidance from spirit on how to handle the situation. I'll clarify throughout as well as pull a few oracle cards at the end. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Sagittarius, what we can see for you guys for the month of July 2021. Please and thank you. Most important message here for Sagittarius spirit. What does Sagittarius need to see? Now, please keep in mind, guys, the messages here on YouTube are general and the roles can be reversed. Take them how it resonates. Leave the rest. We have here Aqu Sagittarius, Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. There is definitely a lot of passion, okay? A lot of intense heat, a lot of maybe sexual energy here between you and this person. But I also feel like there is something that they are not telling you here, Sagittarius, with deception coming out in their energy. I do feel like you are going to come forward and try to press them for the information. So let's dive a little bit deeper here into the message, see what we can see, what's going to come out. Please keep in mind, guys, the message is on YouTube or general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, there's most likely going to be something in the message for you. For information on energy cleanse kits, personal readings, extended versions, the links are all below. And Sagittarius, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. I feel here, Sagittarius, you are ignoring what is best for you. Okay, this is causing a disruption in your energy. I do feel like there is a lot of sexual tension here, a lot of passion, a lot of heightened emotions. Okay. There is potential here for there to be stability, but there is a lot of blockages that are coming through. There's definitely an energy of something from the past that's hindering the progress of this connection moving forward, whether that's maybe still tied to a connection. Okay. Maybe your person is still tied to a past connection or they're still yearning for a past connection. And for you, Sagittarius, you're kind of ignoring what's best for you. And I feel like there is a need here to get rebalanced, refocused in your energy. So let's clarify this. I'm going to clarify your two of wands, nine of pentacles in the reverse first here, Sagittarius. To be honest with you, this could play out multiple ways for your person here. They could be definitely dealing in, in particular with a person. But this could also just be unhealed trauma from the past that's holding them back. I do feel like you are being very cautious, okay? But there is an energy of a deep connection here. And I will show you why. Clarifying your person's energy, we have the Queen of Pentacles with the Ten of Swords in the reverse. There is something very traumatizing that this person has gone through that maybe they're avoiding feeling a certain emotion again and maybe just keeping this very light okay they're trying to keep this light for a reason 
There could be maybe a fear of commitment, maybe a fear of long-term, um, long-term romantic relationships. I do feel like they are in the process of releasing this energy and healing this energy. What I will say is by pushing, by trying to force the ball, this Knight of Swords energy, okay, by pushing, by forcing, by trying to push forward, okay, that's also a form of resistance. This person is going to need time and space to heal, okay, Four of Swords, the Star energy. You're going to have to, if you want to have a future with this person, if you envision that this is your person, which for some of you this very well could be, Sorry, guys. My mic got caught on the tripod. If you envision that this is your person, okay, if you see this as, you know, this is my long-term commitment and maybe this person is the one that's confused, okay, you're going to just have to be this person's friend and keep this light-hearted for now until they come to terms, okay? I do feel like there is a deep connection and we're going to look a little bit deeper into this energy, but this is going to take time for your person to come out of this, come out of this energy here, Sagittarius, for them. This is going to be a process. So let's take a look at this person's perception. If you're finding that this message is resonating or helpful to this point, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel getting the message out there so thank you guys so much for that you are all freaking amazing let's take a look into your person's perception of this challenge within themselves okay Be between you and them okay because this is causing some blockages between you and them this Sagittarius's person's perception of this challenge spirit please and thank you what is this person's perception of this situation here what else? This person is trying to control the situation. We're going to, um, I'm going to pull a few cards here, a few more cards. Let me put these ones up here that came out so far. There could be an energy of them dealing with someone else. Now, remember the roles can be reversed, so this could be your energy. I do feel that there is a little bit of mirroring. So there is a little bit of healing that needs to take place because honestly, Sagittarius, you're ignoring what's best for you at this time, which is withdrawing your energy. So what is this person not telling Sagittarius here in this situation? I feel like this person isn't speaking about how they're feeling. Queen of Cups in the reverse, Four of Cups, Knight of Wands. I feel like this person is trying to rebalance their energy, refocus their energy, okay? I also feel here that they may not know exactly how they feel, and so they need some time on their own. Person is very indecisive here, very back and forth, maybe with you, but also within themselves. At times, they feel like they want to move forward in this connection, and at times, they want to pull back. Okay, so what is this person's true intentions moving forward here, Spirit? There's going to be some clarity. It's going to be brought into the situation here, Sagittarius. I feel like you and this person are going to have a conversation about the path that you guys are going to take moving forward. There's a deep connection. And I feel like you've been waiting. Okay, there is an energy of waiting that's coming through as well as lovers energy I feel like this person is going to come forward and express themselves to you, Sagittarius how they truly feel they may even speak on some what's going on with them from their past you know whatever it is that they're releasing 
try to allow this person to be open okay because they are going through a tough release with this ten of swords in the reverse okay having a conversation with you probably brings up a lot of past emotions that they're uncertain of right now okay they're not certain that they want to press forward at this time because they're afraid of how this is going to make them feel now again this is causing delays and for you this person to move forward there is going to need to be some truth some honesty that's brought to the to the situation brought to light whether that's within yourself it's probably a little bit of both being honest with yourself as well as the other person right so Sagittarius your advice guidance moving forward for the month of July 2021 please and thank you spirit the advice guidance moving forward for Sagittarius thank you guys so much for all the love and support thank you for liking subscribing sharing the content you guys are all amazing I am going to do an extended version to the reading. In the extended version, we're going to take a little bit deeper look into the hidden energies. We'll look into where this is headed. Okay. The lesson that's present at this moment and the outcome. If the advice is followed, it's all going down in the extended version. The links are all below. Sagittarius. It's going to need to be some clarity about the past. I feel here that you, this person, or both of you are going to come forward and speak on this, but there is a need to kind of gain that clarity within first. So coming forward isn't going to happen. Um, this moving forward, this is going to move forward very slowly until the truth is revealed, okay? Once the truth is revealed, once the truth comes to light, I feel here that it's going to speed things up very quickly for you and this person, um, whether that is to move forward together or separately, okay? You are headed in a positive direction. You need to trust the process. We are going to look into the lesson um, in the extended version. So if that's something that you're interested in, the links are all below. Focus on moving forward, okay? What you envision for your future. Do you see this person fitting into that vision, right? If you do, then there is a need to kind of have patience with the process. But if you don't feel like this person is fitting in very clearly with that vision, then maybe there's a need to kind of make the time and the plan to exit. I honestly feel with the Eight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, lovers, all the energy is present that this is a deep connection that you feel with this person. So I do feel like you guys are going to come to terms, clear the confusion, and work together. But again, it's going to be a slow process. So taking this time with yourself at this time to gain clarity on that vision will help to communicate how this person fits into your life when you guys get to that step. Your soul journey message is growth. I want to expand my consciousness and awareness. You're constantly being presented with situations that enable you to develop your inner wisdom and assist you in advancing the higher levels of understanding. The lesson is to be aware of these events and recognize them for what they are. To live a mindful life is not only about respecting and honoring those around you. It's also about recognizing every person and circumstance on your path as a teacher. The constant chatter and diversions of life on earth can distract you from the signposts spirit has left. Take the time to be aware of the bountiful wisdom that has been laid before you. Acknowledge these gifts 
Take them to heart as you continue your sojourn in this physical dimension. Don't look for the opportunities that you think you need. Instead, be receptive to the opportunities given. Sagittarius, whatever path you choose, because we have the two of wands present in your energy, so you do have a decision to make. Whatever path you choose, be mindful, okay? But understand that there's still a significant lesson that's needing to be learned from this person. Whatever that lesson is for you individually, it's going to be important. Otherwise, this process is going to continue. Same situation, just a different face. Let's pull for truths message for your reading Sagittarius and it is don't take anything personally become immune to poison the whole world can gossip about you and if you don't take it personally you are immune immunity to poison in the middle of hell is a gift of the second agreement don't take anything personally Become immune to poison. Beautiful, beautiful. So Sagittarius, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this month. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, links are all below. Otherwise, thank you guys again. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.